everyone! So excited to be here. We are here for another Thursday thrill. We are here every single week to do either a deep dive or kind of a play with Breshna Games. If you don't know, I am Lindsay, Chief of Staff here at Breshna.io, and we are a no-code gaming platform that enables a non-tech audience to create video games with no code, at no cost, and at lightning speed. So it's free, it's fun, super duper fast. Today, we are going to work with one of our, one of my favorite templates personally, which is called Puzzle Peel. So we have 20 different templates we can go through and we can scan all of these amazing templates. They're super, super fun. But today we are going to work on Puzzle Peel. I also thought that we would do kind of two different use cases. Typically in our Thursday Thrills, we do our deep dive and we go into kind of just one use case and really dive into that. I thought it would be really good to kind of go side by side and do both one for education as well as for um, kind of a marketing ploy coupon enterprise type thing. So first and foremost, you, if, especially if you are new, you would come up right over here and you would log in. Make sure you log in because if you want to play with your games, that's totally fine, but you won't be able to save them unless you're logged in. So don't lose that, don't lose all that hard work. I'm going to come down here and you can choose to click on this little exclamation point if you want a little bit more information, if you want to preview and like play a game to have uh, an idea of what that actual template looks like, you can do that as well. Or you can just click on this very beautiful pink button, create and have it pop up right here. Now, the fun part of Puzzle Peel is there's a bunch of puzzle pieces, as you can see on the, on the screen, and you, have, you give your players questions that they need to answer in order to uncover the image. So it's really fun with things like education. Today we are going to learn about the Western Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly, very specific, but I saw a really cute video on it and I really wanted to do it. So we're gonna do that and we're going to do a shoe designer dropping some new products. So once we're in here, you can see there's two sides. The, the left-hand side is a little bit more for uh, visual and audio. You can see it's the puzzle, it's the background, and it's the music itself. So puzzle, background, and then the music that we'll be playing. Over on the right side, we have our kind of text area. So your title, you're going to insert your tags here, you'll have a lot of information, you'll be able to give an introduction, all of your questions are listed out on this side. So I like to start on the visual side. I've already uploaded mine. So I actually, because I want to specifically do Western Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly, I'm very proud of learning that whole name by the way, I wanted to upload my own puzzle. So I uploaded it, I made sure that I did 124 by 124 pixels. I personally go into Canva to do this and I just create a custom size, 124 by 124, immediately I'm, I'm in the right range. Make sure it's PNG JPEG and five megabytes is the max, then you would just add your file. Add a title, title is not as important as your tags. If you are leaving this public especially, so like if we are um, trying to educate more people and we want them to have the ability to use our backgrounds or if we want other people to use our shoes and our product so other people can see it you want to keep that public and you would want to tag this a bunch so if I was doing a shoe product I would say like shoes product drop maybe the name uh, my company <laughs> company name things like that now make sure you click the enter button so that it turns pink. That way it's for sure in the system here. Otherwise, if I don't click and I click out, it'll immediately go away. So I've already got this. I am going into my puzzles. You can see I've made quite a few at this point. And I'm going to go into, look how beautiful this is. The, the Western Tiger <laughs> Swallowtail Butterfly. So pretty, so gorgeous, and it, it doesn't live for very long, which is kind of sad. But now I am going to go into my background. So I've chosen my puzzle, just stick over on the side. I am going to go into my background, and personally for this one, you can see I've uploaded backgrounds for other um, games that I've made, but I have noticed personally I don't love putting a custom background unless it's a frame. So if you put a uh, background in here, this part is not opaque, 
you will not be able to see through it. So anything behind that puzzle gets a little bit lost. So we want to make sure that everything is seen and it looks really clean and there's not like weird little things sticking out. People are trying to like, what's behind the puzzle, right? So maybe if you wanted to do something where you had like butterflies on either side, that would be really nice. For me personally, I actually really like to have just the classic editor because I think it looks really clean and I personally love this purple. So we do have several other colors, right? You can view more and go into all these different colors or we also have our different backgrounds. These are populated across many different templates that you can use. I personally prefer to just use the, the uh, solid colors, but it is completely up to you. Then I go into my music over here. We've got Energy Serial. We literally have so many uh, clips, music clips for you guys to use. If you are a musician or let's say there's some audio that you want to be playing while they're learning about the Yellowtail, while they're learning, <laughs> excuse my cat, she's Sorry. Um, while you're learning about the shoes, then you can have that. Maybe your company has a jingle. You can upload that music exactly the same way. MP3 format, five megabytes, and then the same. Add, title, tags, click enter, and privacy settings. Um, and by the way, privacy settings, if you don't want somebody to use this, you can change it from, from public to private, and then it's just yours. Nobody else can use it, nobody else can see it, and you've got your own personal puzzle. So I've done that personally when I did things like make a Mother's Day present. I, I didn't want my mom's pictures to be up for everybody else to use, so I made it private. So we've done our amazing visual audio left side. We're heading on over to the right side. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start on game info. So you can see the title tends to just populate as either like a cool name for your game or the template itself. So you want to kind of make sure that you make this your own. I'm going to name this Western, Western Tiger Swallowtail Trivia. Oh, there's only so much. That's okay. We can just do yet the name of the butterfly. So now I'm going to insert tags, especially lately this is really important. So these tags are how we and other people will actually find your games to play. So right now we are in the process of actually creating an entire library that will be on our website for you guys to use. You can access all of these free. So it's a lot of educational games, it's a lot of social impact games that you guys can access. These are going to be the things that help us put your games into the right slots and have other people find them. So for this, I would say butterfly, um, probably Western Tiger Swallow Dale. That's quite the name. Um, maybe education, maybe animal facts, things like that. So as much as you can think of, go ahead and tag away. I'm gonna come down and have this category switched. So we have health education, social, sports, games for good, enterprise. This is an educational one. I'm going to click education. That'll make sure it goes into the right category. I can decide if I want to collect player email. If you are doing something educational and especially as a teacher, you might want to collect that player email because then you can see who's played along with like their the actual uh, data in your dashboard, if that makes sense. So you can actually capture these emails and even respond to them. So in our social or in our um, shoot example, this would be great because you could potentially follow up with anybody who didn't make a purchase, right? Our description, I'm going to keep this fairly simple. You can add as much as you want. I have seen some people put the instructions in the description and then not in the intro. I'll show you the intro in just a second. Make sure you also put the instructions in the intro because a lot of people don't actually look at this. This is the about section before you click play. A lot of people get really excited and they just want to play your game. So they go straight through it. So I'm going to put in here um, how much do you know about the Western Tiger? Let's find out. Okay. So let's find out. Super exciting. Now all of this is done. Oh, our final thing. This is super cool. If you are creating a game in a text or a script that goes right to left, 
you can toggle this on and it will make everything make sense. So if you're trying to make Arabic math games, if you're trying to make Pashto social justice games, you can do that. You don't have to like just work with the languages we give you. You can use any language. Sorry, my cat might be a consistent, <laughs> a consistent uh, visitor <laughs> here today. <laughs> okay, now we're into the levels. So I we start on level one, obviously. You can add a level here. One of the things you want to know is when you add a level, it copies the previous level. So if there's anything that you want to be the same across multiple uh, levels, go ahead and fill that out first, just because it takes out a little bit of, of the work for you. So level one, if I wanted to add a level, click add level, it automatically brings me to level two. You can click this toggle and then switch back and forth. And of course you can edit. So if I wanted to put something else here, my level two can be different from my level one. I am just gonna do the one level. So we're going to delete level here. And boom, that's how you look. How that's how you delete a level. Oh my goodness. So coming down, we've already chosen the puzzle and we've chosen the background. This little jigsaw color is this here. So whatever you want this to look like, that's gonna be the color. I personally like it to be nice and dark and of course purple because we love purple here at Brush Now. So I'm gonna click it to purple and I'm gonna bring it way down. Yeah, that's that's good. So now it's a nice dark color. So I'm gonna click out of that. My jigsaw color is set. So the cool thing about this is you actually actually only need three questions in order for this to work. Everything else can just be kind of an unlocked puzzle piece. I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, and so you only ha you only need three questions. You can go up to 16 because we've got our three by three or our four by four. Little thing for me personally, I have found that if I want them to really get through the content and then into the next level um, and, and like learn multiple things, I find that only putting a few and not fully doing all nine and especially not doing uh, 16 helps because it gives them a second to register everything that they've, they've seen, right? So it gives them a second if you're telling them about product drops, if you're telling them about discounts, if you're telling them about the butterfly itself, it gives them a second to register everything, let it all settle in, and then they go to the next level and they're ready to do it again. So we are here, we are actually doing five of our nine different questions. And this is that introduction. So this is, again, where you want to put some of that information of like what they're doing. Um, one of the really nice things that you can do here is say, if you get stuck, look at packet number whatever, you know, especially if you're an educator. If you get stuck, go visit, you know, this website or something like that. Um, so I'm going to say here sort of the same thing as the description. How much do you know? about the Western Tiger Swallowtail. Answer these, these, is, these questions to uncover the beautiful butterfly. Butterly, butterfly, okay. How much do you know about the Western Tiger Swallowtail? answer these questions to uncover the beautiful butterfly. Perfect. So now as we go down, obviously you can see questions and answers. So I have several questions here. The first I am going to write, um, how big is, a, is this butterfly's wingspan? So how big is the wingspan of, um, I'm gonna actually start saying Western Swallowtail. <laughs> Actually, in that, let's do this. In this puzzle, the butterfly name has been shortened to WST, just for, for ease of time. All right, how big is the wingspan of the WST? And that answer is four to five inches. These things are quite large inches, just like that. Then, next question, we're going to fill in um, what does, oh, what does the caterpillar 
of the WST phenon. So this is an interesting thing. When this is in the packet, theoretically, like you've got a packet from school, the answer would be cottonwoods, willows, and aspens. Now typically we would put commas in between those things, but on the mobile app, uh, or not on the app, on the mobile version, you have to use the little um, keypad that we've provided. And we don't have a comma in that keypad, unfortunately. So make sure that you play these things through, both on mobile and on your computer, just to make sure you catch any sort of like errors or things like that. So what I would say in this is just with no commas. So I would say cottonwood, cottonwoods, oh, that feels so weird though, willows and aspens. And then in here, I would probably give them the little hint that says no commas. So, and then that way they know to list out the things that we've provided in the packet with no commas, okay? So coming down, question number three, what does the butterfly um, feed on? And that answer is lilacs, thistles, the slopes and what was the last one? Milkweed. Once again, we want to let them know no commas. Now, I have two more questions I want to add. So we're adding a question here. We're just going to go ahead and click both of them. Add my question life, the what is the lifespan of the WST? And that is six to 14 days. Can you imagine only being alive for six to 14 days? It's not a lot of time to see the world. And our final question. Okay, this is the state butterfly for two different states. So what two states, um, let's see, what two states consider this their uh, state butterfly? And that is Colorado and Arizona. Colorado and Arizona. Um, this would be interesting. So this in particular would be, you want to match the packet as much as possible because they actually have to type in exactly this. So if they did Arizona and Colorado, that might be considered wrong. So make sure that you, like whatever your instructions are, wherever they're going to like refer at, you get them the right phrasing, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm all done. All done with that. We've got our puzzle, we've got our background, we've got our jigsaw colors. We've chosen three by three instead of four by four. We don't wanna do that much. Minimum questions, yes, we understand. Our introduction is good. We've got questions all filled out. And let's just double check in our game info. We've got our title tags, category, not gonna collect the email, little tiny description, and here. Um, actually, one thing that we can do here is talk about the referred to packet, right? And I mentioned this and I, I didn't add it. So we'll add it in both spots. In the description is um, if you get stuck, visit the, uh, the packet, visit, let's say, uh, refer to the packet provided. And then we can copy that and bring it over into here, shorten to WTS, and if you get stuck, refer to the packet provided. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and publish and play this thing and see if there's any mistakes. The nice thing about this too is you can actually switch back and forth between the editor and the puzzle, right? So if I wanted to just immediately go back and change something, I can go back and change something, and it's not gonna mess with the actual puzzle. Right, and so I can change everything, get all the way through my puzzle, and then click publish. All of those changes will be uh, added. So, oops, let me actually go back really quick. Let me go in and do this one more time because I wanted to show you the description. Because again, the description is before you actually get into, so the about is right there. This is your description. How much do you know about the Western uh, tiger swallowtail? Let's find out. If you get stuck, refer to the packet provided. Back, and then we can play. There's a time challenge, there's a self-paced. Your students or your, your customers can choose which one you want. 
And this is that intro we just made. How much do you know about the Western Tiger Swallowtail? Answer these questions to uncover the beautiful butterfly. In this puzzle, the butterfly name has been shortened to WTS. If you get stuck, refer to the packet provided. And if you're an educator, you would probably give a little bit more information as to like which packet. I'm sure you give plenty, but you know, same idea. Okay, and now you can see, so these are those unlocked pieces. So because they're unlocked, I can just click them and they start to show the image behind. And this is gonna randomize every single time. It's not gonna be the same. So now you can start to see and you're like, oh wow, I can see a little butterfly, I can see a little bit of flower. Let's go in. How big is the wingspan of the WTS? We know that it is four to five inches. Correct. And going what two states? So let's see, Arizona and Colorado would be considered wrong, I think. Wrong answer, so just be very aware of that as you're creating these. Correct. And keep them going, keep them going. What does the butterfly feed on? No commas. So we've got lilacs, uh, thistles, and, oh, and not, and what was the last one? Milkweed, I forget that one every time. Uh-oh. Lilacs, thistle, and milkweed. Let's go see. Let's go see what's happened. Uh, oh, I did have milkweed in or and in there. Yay. All right, two more, and then we'll get all the way back to the other side, or we'll get back to our other use case. Six to 14 days. Correct. And finally, what does the caterpillar feed on? And that is cottonwoods, uh, willows, and aspens. Boom. And now you've got a beautiful butterfly and you've won. Well done. So, and then you can go back home and, and it's awesome. So, now that we've done this one, I am going to do a whole nother one. So once I've published it, it is now actually in here. I can go to my profile and go into my games here and it's gonna pop up right there. Boom. Then I can go back to Breshna and we're gonna take our set, make our second use case. Back to our beautiful puzzle peel. We are just gonna click create. We are now creating a brand new puzzle peel and now we are a shoe designer. So one of the cool things that we did in our Halloween hatch, which if you if you don't know, was our debut of the Breshnaverse. Breshnaverse is a virtual carnival where you will be able to <laughs> showcase and monetize the games that you make here in uh, our metaverse. So it's absolutely cool. Out of your own carnival stands, you'll be able to own carnival stands. It's really, really cool. It was absolutely beautiful. And we loved having our Boltrons. We had about 200 Boltrons with us for our debut. Absolutely cool. So. I forget why I had mentioned that. Oh, yes, because the one of the people that we had with us, we had quite a few partners with us. One of them was a shoe designer, and she's absolutely amazing. Her name is she is, uh, is Cheval. You can go visit her website at sheisshaval.com. These are not her shoes. I did not want to use her shoes just because I didn't want to mess with anything. So wanted to do sort of what she did. The cool thing is she actually did things where like the shoes had names they had collections they had um she had her website up you know there was a lot of different things that she does to be really creative with her shoes so we actually had her make games and then uh, actually we made the games but we made games for her and then we put like discount codes at the very end so you can say get through with this whole thing and then at the end, maybe there's a discount code, maybe there's just a coupon, maybe there's, I guess a discount code is a coupon, but you get the idea. Any sort of call to action is really great. All right, so once again, going into the puzzle, I've just done that while I was talking. You can see I chose this red shoe. This is actually one of my favorite. I love red and I love Converse-y looking ones. We're going back to the background. Again, you can see I've got a couple things I really, really like. Uh, you know what, let me, let me show you what I mean. So, um, when, actually this one might be good for it. That one's not bad, but you can see still, there's like a pile of gold on this side that's kind of cut off. You know, it, it's just a little bit 
less professional, in my opinion. Now, if you're doing things that are for children, if you're doing things that's for you, if you're doing, you know, you might not want that super professional look. I prefer really clean, just my personal opinion or personal uh, preference. Once again, you can go into your music. If you want to play these and see, you know, what songs they are, you just click this little purple button. If you want to add them, you click the little pink button, and now it is your music. One thing is you cannot adjust the music per level. That is one thing we're working on. We want you to be able to actually change the music each level, which would be really, really cool. As of right now, it's only the one, so just be aware of that as you're doing this. Once again, we are back at our uh, language e side. So, jigsaw color, you guys know I like this to be nice and dark and purple. That's a good color. We are going to stick with the 3x3 three three instead of going 4x4. Four four. We understand that there are three questions, and now we are going to do an introduction. So, our introduction here is going to be showing people where to go, especially to find out this information. So, if I wanted to say, um, let's go through how much, we can do it another, how much do you know about shoe designer? about shoe designer. This is your name. Um, how much do you, let's find out. Get through the entire game and win, earn yourself a discount code or a discount. That's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna stick with three questions because I want this to be fairly easy. If you want people to work hard for this, if this is something that's like really big or you have a big prize or something like that, you can make it so that you go for the four by four so that there are 16 and you can fill it up so that it's really, really difficult. But I personally, for this one, kind of want to give them the coupon code anyway. I want to give them that. I want them to come to the website. So I'm going to make it fairly easy and I'm only going to do three. So here first is going to be, oh, I'm sorry. First we need to do this as well. Um, if you get stuck, visit mywebsite.com to, yeah. And then theoretically you would be able to find all of that information on your website. So here we're going down to our first question. Our first question would be what collection is this part of? And they would find that easily on the website, right? Because they could go to the website, find the shoe, see what collection it's in. Um, I had this be Vibrant Love. And I absolutely loved it. Cheval's, you should, again, she is cheval.com, C-H-E-V-A-L.com. And she's got such great names for things. She's got such a great vibe. It is absolutely awesome. And I kind of recommend a lot of shoe designers do the same thing. I found it really entertaining and enjoyful, or like joyful, entertaining, whatever, um, to be able to go through and see the different things and there's different collections and so, yeah. So Vibrant Love, oh, hang on. Yes, answer, yes, okay. Question two. We have, what's the name of this shoe? And again, she had collections and she had names for the actual shoes, which I thought was absolutely so fun. So this is going to be our Scarlet, oh, Scarlet Sneaks. Uh, Scar Scarlet Sneak. I also love alliteration, so every time I can do that, I, I will. And what's the last one? Where can you find, oh no, what is what is our IG handle? This is a really cool way for you to make sure people know your Instagram. And in the next level, we're going to make it a second level. Next level, I'm going to have it be my Twitter. So what's our IG handle? It's going to be shoe master chef. <laughs> I don't know what, why, but it is. So that's what it's going to be. So again, on your website, they would be able to go and find your Instagram and then they would find your handle. So now they're going all over your website, they're going into your Instagram, they're doing all sorts of stuff so that they can get this discount code. 
We're not going to add any more questions. We're just going to leave it that, at that. And now we're going to add a second level. So add level now on level two. I am going to change out the puzzle for a different pair of shoes. But I'm going to keep the background and the jigsaw color the same. Same with the three by three. I'm just going to keep it easy. So this is again one of those things where if you want your background and jigsaw color to be the same across all of your levels, change that before you start adding levels and it just like, obviously it's not that much work, it takes two seconds, but why not? Okay, so same, how much do you know about shoe designer? Um, complete the entire game and you'll earn a discount. If you get stuck, visit mywebsite.com, right? Awesome. And again, and actually this is perfect. What collection is this part of? We want to ask what collection and what the name of the shoe is. So those can just stay. This collection, I had it be childhood memories because this looks like a shoe that I would, I literally all, like wear this exact shoe as a four year old. It was so awesome. So if I could, if I could have those again as an adult, I would. Uh, what's the name of this shoe? I had this be bubblegum, oh, not bubblegum, great bubblegum, great bubblegum, right, because it's got kind of the purpley, it's got pink, I thought that was cool, okay, and then what is our Twitter, or X handle, and maybe that's the same thing, cool, doesn't matter, we want them to go to our Twitter and find out, so those are the questions I'm going to stick with. Now, at the end, they will be able to, oh, I'm so sorry, I just realized there's no closing answer. So one thing is most of our templates have closing answers. That is where you will want to put your BOGOs, your discounts, your coupons, all sorts of stuff like that. What you could do with this is say, um, let's see, uh, write, okay, um, write, Okay, and take a screenshot of your winning score. Send this to a shoe designer through their Instagram for your prize. And then the answer would be okay. That's a way to work around it. So there's always a workaround. If you get a little bit creative, you can always find a workaround. This type of thing is actually, if you have, if you really want a closing answer for this, this is something that we're working on anyway, but if you really want a feature here in Breshna that you don't see, reach out to us. We are always listening. We are always paying attention to what you guys want. And we are actually revamping a whole bunch of stuff right now. And we're adding new templates and we're adding our library, like I mentioned earlier. So. A lot of stuff is happening. We are constantly building at a very fast rate. We really enjoy being able to like get you things that are new and exciting as quickly as possible. So let us know if there's anything that you need. Would love to, love to, love to hear from you. Okay, so we've got all of this done. I do believe we still need to go into game info. We do. So game info, and this is this doesn't matter about any of the titles or anything, right? Uh, or any of the, the levels, rather, right? This is the title, the tags. The, so um, here I'm going to put shoe designer, so your name, um, shoe designer, uh, shoe unveil, unveiling. I'm really bad with names, guys. So. Shoe unveiling, that's it. Or actually, let's do shoe reveal. I find that to be a little bit more exciting. Shoe reveal. Okay, so I would put shoe. Um, marketing products, clothes, the shoe designer, enterprise. Okay, that's, that's enough. You guys get the gist. So, and again, add a bunch of tags because we really want to be able to like get everybody into the right spots. If you have more tags, we'll be able to do it more efficiently. Now, this is enterprise. This is my game is for my business. So I am actually going to toggle on player email 
have the category be enterprise so that it'll go into that category and people who are looking for enterprise games can, can do that. Description, we can have this be very similar. Actually, I think we can have this be verbatim. Let's see, what are we saying about this? All right, how much do you know about shoe designer? Let's find out. And then we can actually, what I like about the description is you can give a little bit more, um, you can break things up a little bit more. In the intro, it is always gonna be a paragraph. Um, another one of those things that's like on the wish list. So here you can give a little bit more um, formatting so that you can even go visit mywebsite.com and have it be completely separate. So it's just mywebsite.com. I don't know that I love that. I think I like it being right here anyway. So we're gonna leave it. And of course, we're not gonna toggle the right to left text because we're writing in English and that's gonna make things confusing. So we've done the background. We've done the puzzle. We've done the music. We've gone through all our title tags, category, player, email, description, and scripts. And then we've got both of our levels fully done. So let's go through this and see if we've made any mistakes. I'm going to publish, and we're going to play. Okay, and once again, what really is cool about this, I love the fact that I can just click right back and come here. And since this is, uh, it's, oh, since, I don't know why I said that, you can share, that was the word I was looking for, your game with just this URL. So copy the URL, send it in your WhatsApp, text it to your friends, put it on your website. You can actually embed this directly into your website by going into embed code. Copy that, huck it in the website, and it's there for you guys to play. So we are puzzle peeling, and this is where I have to enter my email. So I'm going to enter one of my old school emails. Welcome back, Jack. I actually love that it says that. Welcome back, Jack. Shoe, diner, shoe designer, shoe reveal. We've got our puzzle pe peel title. Oh my goodness, my words today, you guys. Once again, our about section. You see how it's formatted a little bit nicer? How much do you know about shoe designer? Let's find out. Get through the entire game and earn yourself a discount. If you get stuck, visit mywebsite.com. And we're going to play. Once again, you know, there's a timed version. I like to go at my own pace. I'm going to go easy. And then you can see this is not formatted. Right? So how much do you know about shoe designer? Let's find out. Get through the entire game and earn yourself a discount. If you get stuck, visit mywebsite.com. And now we're going to go through first and unlock all the puzzle pieces we can. And you can see because I've only got three questions, it's going to unlock or it's going to like uh, reveal a lot more. So you could even do something along the lines of like giving this shoe as the prize. So like if you wanted to do something, actually this is just coming to me. If you wanted to do something where you, you give them a shoe, but it's like they don't know what shoe it is, you could potentially do that. You could have them unveil the shoe and go, oh my gosh, my prize is this shoe, right? I don't know, it's kind of cool. So, and especially if this is your pr newest product, if this is a new product and you want to unveil it through this, that's a really cool thing that you can start doing. This is as though these shoes are already on the website. Okay, what is our IG handle? Oh my gosh, what did I do? I did a really weird, I don't know why I did that, but shoe master chef. <laughs> yeah, part of the reason chef is because of a, a thing. Oh, I didn't realize we couldn't paste. Shoe master chef. Nope, that's not how you spell chef. Chef. Unlock. Correct answer. I think the chef thing came from our ambassadors. We did a whole thing. With the contest, it was a group contest, and it was really fun, and they talked about being chefs of video games and stuff like that, which I'm sure some of you are watching. I think it's super funny, and I would love to keep that going. What collection is this part of? Because we made this, oh wait, I have this written down. This is part of Vibrant Love. Correct. And then finally, what is the name of this shoe? I had this Scarlet Sneak, oh, Snack. That's, yeah, okay. Correct. Yay. Nice. 
So, and again, you can have them screenshot this and send it to you. Super cool. You would want to have it be both of them, right? So we go next, and we're moving on to our next level. Again, the same thing. I'm not going to read this. You guys know. And then they can go and unveil your amazing shoe. Unveil, unveil uh, this one. And did we put four questions in here? Looks like we've got four questions. Let's see. So what collection? This was Childhood Memories. The nice thing about this, though, is the caps um, doesn't matter. It can be capitalized or lowercase. That's not going to mess it up. What's the name of this shoe? We had bubble or grape bubble gum. Correct. Let's see. Oh, right. Duh, of course. Write OK and take a screenshot of your winning score. Send this to shoe designer through, your Insta through their Instagram for your prize. So you would type OK. Actually, here, and I can, you know, I put it lowercase in the editor. Doesn't matter. And then finally, what is our Twitter slash X handle? It is the same thing. Shoe Master Chef. Ta da! Winning score. And now I can come back and. Oh, I didn't have any fixes. That was great. We actually went through a whole thing and I didn't have any edits. That's awesome. I really, really enjoy the fact that you can just hop back and forth. I think it's really helpful. So, those were two different use cases of our puzzle peel template. There are so many more that you can use, especially like social impact. If you want to unveil a um, like a tree or um, I don't know, maybe some interesting facts or something like that. I don't know, but you can do a lot where you're actually teaching them and having them learn through, and then giving them an image or whatever. Maybe it's a flyer for your next thing. Maybe it's like the discount code is the actual picture um, or the discount code. Maybe there's like a, a code that they need for an actual picture or a website. There's all sorts of things that you can get really creative with. So, and that's what I love about Brescia in general. And uh, honestly, all of these games you can get super, super creative with. We do all sorts of like match manias, which are tile matching games where you match like the element with its properties or guess the words where you just guess and this is like hangman super fun you should look through it this is our newest one which is a word search very fun we've got like a little whack-a-mole here I will stop telling you all of the individual ones you can check them out for yourself all right thank you so much for hanging out with me this Thursday I so appreciate it as a reminder we are here every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern to either do a deep dive like this one or to do a throwdown with me and Michael where we make games and we challenge each other to play it and we're really bad at it so come enjoy come learn we so appreciate having you we also have on our Twitter which is just at brush a game we have a weekly bonfire at 2 p.m. Eastern. We actually just upped the time because there was a time change in the U.S. and it made it really late for our ambassadors to join. We wanted to make sure our ambassadors could join, so we moved it up by two hours. So, once again, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out and let us know if there is anything that you want to see specifically, if you have a use case that you want, if you want us to make a game live for your company, for your shoe drop, for your whatever, we're happy to do so. So reach out to us, book a demo, the, the link is in the bio, uh, 